I'm going to show you the easy way to enable sound in Windows to Server 2008. First of all, if you have a sound card and a local speaker, well, that would be your first step. But this video is really geared towards um, getting sound going for the remote desktop user. So here we are at a console. And first, we want to take a look at Device Manager. Now, in Device Manager on 2008 R2, or this variant, which happens to be Windows Home Server 2011, um, you'll see that the sound devices uh, you know, won't show. There is no sound support by default. So we have a couple things we need to do. Uh, again, no sound showing at all. Head on over to Services. And Windows Audio. Double click, change to automatic, and click apply. Now I'd like to test it right away, so I'm also going to start it. No need to reboot. Okay. We're done in there. Next. Notice we've got an X through the audio device. So we're not quite there yet. Uh, this happens to be a virtual machine that has no sound device, so we wouldn't expect sound to light up just by starting a service. Click on all programs, administrative tools, scroll down, remote desktop services, remote desktop session host configuration. Notice RDP connection is there. We right-click it and say Properties. We head over to the Client Settings tab. And notice it says Disable the following. Audio, video playback is disabled. We click OK. We can close that. We can close that. Last step, Configure Remote Desktop Connection. Okay, so there's our host name. Go to Local Resources, Remote Audio, Configure. Make sure Play in This Computer is on. It is. Ready to, uh, I have everything cranked up on this page, not really relevant for sound. Sorry, let's go back to local resources. Okay, at this point, we're ready to click connect. Okay, notice the speaker is no longer complaining. We have an audio volume. So if we click start and type in the word sound, and go to the sound control panel application. We can now go to the playback tab and click test. And that's it.